Hello everybody, you're wel very welcome to the Peace Security channel and uh, just a few days ago I had a giveaway for EZ Smart Security 6 licenses. I held a contest in which you were supposed to tell me the best security software combination along with EZ Smart Security of course and uh, I've already given out the keys to the three winners and in this video I will be discussing why they won and uh, I'll use this opportunity to try to tell you guys my opinion about how to make a successful security software combo and um, and the reason is a lot of people ask me these questions regularly is this post this a good combo and I all a lot of you guys have wrong ideas about how you should make a security software combination work so I'll try to explain it out to you guys so first uh, let me just show you guys the winning entries. First one's uh, Victor Hugo. He says, uh, hello, I suggest a combination of the following. It's ESET Smart Security 6 and Sandbox. A pretty simple combination using two security software. What did you think? The winning combination would be, well, you thought probably it's, if you thought it's ESET Smart Security 6 plus Malwarebytes plus Super Inspirer plus Hitman Pro, you are so wrong. Now, this is a pretty good combo. He said Smart Security 6 plus Sandboxy, and he has explained the reasons why Sandboxy is free and at the same time light, and it's the best way to surf the net and execute suspicious software the safe way. And he said, the excellent signatures of ESET combined with the protection offered by Sandboxy is, in my opinion, an excellent combo, and it truly is. Now, why? I'm going to be explaining in just a minute. So, first, let's look at the second winner. It's Mike and um, he suggested EZ Smart Security 6 uh, and he would probably disable the hips and add Mamutu since it's extremely light and he thinks it's more user friendly than EZ hips in interactive mode. Oh my god, EZ hips in interactive mode? Would anybody dare to enable that? Not even FBI need that much security. So I would throw in Sandboxy in the mix for an extra layer of security while browsing along with Norn DNS. I'm not really concerned about the last two entries here, Shadow Defender and Norton DNS, but uh, ESET plus Mamutu or ESET plus Mamutu plus Sandboxy, um, that's a good combo in my opinion. You can add these things if you want, but the win was mainly for these two. And now the third one, it's uh, Mihai, Mikey, and well, this is surprising. He didn't even. Uh, give me a combination. He said advanced user settings with real-time protection, more strict firewall and custom settings when he scans and uh, well this is charming. I'm c people who care about peace security like you and in my opinion you are the best antivirus and if you carefully download and navigate the web do not go into sites that you don't trust. I guess that's what he meant with all this incorrect grammar but uh, yeah Navigate on the web accompanied by a site advisor. Beware of keygen game crack. And after you complete scan, always use second and third opinions. Uh, um, that is a pretty sensible answer because uh, you don't always need uh, a lot of security if you're that sensible. And uh, I mean, you might be fine with these at smart security if you are a sensible person. So this is another one of the winners. Now I know all of you don't agree with my choice. But in the end, it's my choice. It's my channel, my choice. So you can complain all you want, but these are the winners. Now, now let's uh, get into the explanation part. First of all, a lot of you send me things like this: ESET plus Super Anti Spyware plus Malwarebytes plus, you know, just cut it out. I mean, what's the point? I think I mentioned it in the video that y the combination should work on the weaknesses of ESET and not produce more problems. Now the point is, if you're adding Malwarebytes, what is Malwarebytes? Malwarebytes does not have behavioral protection. It does not have uh, any kind of HIPS or any zero-day component. It's just a scanner. It uses its signatures. Now that's exactly what ESET Smart Security 6 is good at. ESET has excellent signatures, so you're going to add Malwarebytes. My point is, of course, it's going to detect a little bit of more malware, but the increment in your detection rate wouldn't be worth the slowdown offered due to two-engine scanning. 
So, and the real point is that even if you have all the 40 or 50 antivirus engines on your computer, if you install all of them and run it like on a computer with 16 gigs of RAM, I'm sure they'll be able to slow down even such a computer, but um, even if you do run them, you're still not secure. And uh, I mean, adding just more signatures doesn't make sense because he said Smart Security 6 already has decent signatures. Now, I would recommend adding Malwarebytes to um, some software like Komodo or maybe something that doesn't have good enough signatures. Komodo has decent signatures, but they're not really good. So adding Malwarebytes will often help you because it's going to detect uh, things directly from the web and it's going to block them before they even get to your computer, so that will be handy. But in ESET's case, ESET's already got an excellent web filter and it had a really high detection rate in the video. Now, what's the sense, uh, what's the point behind adding Malwarebytes, Super anti spyware and just three more scanners that do the same thing? Now, in this case, this is perfectly sensible because EZIT Smart Security has a firewall. So if you're not, you probably don't want to add an additional firewall. Now, Sandbox is a software that runs a uh, process in a virtual environment. It's a sandboxing software and it's uh, you know, a solitary sandboxing software, so it doesn't come with any junk. So when you're buying something like EZIT, you probably don't want too much junk. So this is a pretty decent combo because it's going to give you the security you need and it's not going to trouble you with too many alerts. Another popular question might be that why is it not ESET Smart Security 6 plus Komodo firewall? That's another popular answer that I got but uh, I mean that's again in my opinion it's just stupid because why would anybody use ESET Smart Security 6 if they wanted to use Komodo Firewall, honestly. People who are using ESET and not using Komodo Internet Security probably are using ESET because they do not want to be overwhelmed by the huge number of alerts given by Komodo and they're probably novices who uh, just want more signature-based protection with less problems and they just want to boost their protection without uh, and yeah, the point of the combination should be to boost the protection without actually getting into the user's way. And if you are adding Komodo Firewall anyway, then I see absolutely no sense why you should not use Komodo Internet Security. So, I mean, there's no need to buy ESET Smart Security 6 if you want to use Komodo Firewall. So you think of it the other way. If Does somebody using Komodo Internet Security really need to add ESET Smart Security 6? I don't think so. So somebody who's using ESET Smart Security 6 probably does not want uh, Komodo. He, they probably just do not like it, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, I had troubles with Komodo sandboxing too many processes, and uh, you know, it used to give uh, quite a lot of uh, HIPS alerts, especially the last version. So some people are just not comfortable with it, and they want stuff like ESET. So um, I think ESET with sandboxy or works perfectly fine, it's going to be a pretty good combo. Now the second one, again, it's uh, Mamutu. Now Mamutu, uh, why I like it is because it's behavioral blocking, so it can deal with zero-day malware. Now why I like it uh, in this combination more than something like Komodo Firewall. A, it has, hasn't got a firewall, it's not going to conflict with ESET's firewall, and uh, that's not the major reason. The major reason is, again, somebody using ESET is probably a novice and they do not want too many alerts. So Mamutu, what it does is it does give you some alerts, but the point is that uh, it's fairly simple to understand. I find an alert saying that uh, this process is trying to download data invisibly from the internet a lot more easy to understand as compared to one saying that this process is trying to install a global hook. Now, f what's a user supposed to understand from that? Somebody who doesn't know much about computers. So that's why I like Mamutu more, and it's not that intrusive. It gives less alerts, and uh, it works fairly well. So this is, again, a pretty decent combo, and it's really light, so I have no problems with that. And if you add Sandboxy along with Mamutu, then um, it gives the user options. You can either, um, in case you're not sure whether or not to Sandbox the process, you can actually run it, and there'll still be Mamutu protecting you. So there's another decent combo here. Now Shadow Defender it backs up your data and probably, uh, I mean, what it does is it's, uh, 
like a system restore. So, um, but it's m much more powerful than Windows uh, system restore. So, it just totally doesn't allow anything to be changed once you, uh, you know, set it to block uh, something. But I, I don't really like things like these because I believe uh, I should have the freedom to use my computer the way I want if I have security software installed on it, and I should never need to like do something like a restore. But it's sensible to install something like this, but with the above combination, I don't think it's necessary at all. So now moving on to the third. Now this is, uh, again, somebody using ESET Smart Security 6 probably doesn't want more nonsense. So actually, these things make sense. If, if you're actually smart, and if you just act literate, and you don't have to be a super... Uh, nerdy genius or something if you just act literate if you just read everything before you click the buttons don't just like uh, j don't just click on every big image like an idiot if you just read everything you, that's going to save you like 50 percent of the from 50 percent of the web threats out there and uh, I mean so he was the only one who really um, in the message uh, gave the need for you to be careful and then you won't need anything more and he said gives you pretty decent signature based protection so it's not like you're totally relying on yourself you're relying on ESAP and if you are a little bit careful I think it will be um, <coughs> a pretty decent it will work pretty well for you and if you've got a site advisor this is not really again very necessary because ESAP has a pretty decent web blocking service but yeah as I said if you Handle handle your PC with care, and if you do scans with second and third opinions regularly, you don't have to use them with these head, but just scan once in a while, and uh, you should be fine. So I know you guys don't agree with this. Some of you don't. Some of you might as well. The winners do, but uh, yeah, I'm sure there are a ton of people who don't think this is the right way to approach this thing. So you're free to have your own opinion. I'm not going to chop your head off if you use something else. But um, yeah, this is just my opinion. I just believe in making combos that, you know, that work without, uh, I mean, if, if you just want security anyway, you can pile up all the engines in one computer. But it doesn't make sense, as I said. I mean, it's still not going to be good enough. So the point is to have as many different kinds of technologies like, for example, uh, the combination of Mamutu plus Sandboxy plus ESET actually gives you a lot of technologies. Like, you've got signatures from ESET. They're pretty decent. Plus, you've got a firewall, again, from ESET. You've got their built-in hips. I know it's not decent, but might block something someday. And uh, then it, you get behavioral blocking from Mamutu. So that is... Uh, another key technology and then you get sandboxing from uh, sandboxy so I think that is a much uh, better combo than just piling up stuff that you don't need so just wanted to clear that out hope you guys enjoy this now another question I'd like to answer since I'm finally on <laughs> on the video is that a lot of people have been complaining that I've not been narrating my videos recently as I said do not panic it's not the end of the world. I'll have more videos with narrations soon. The only reason why I did not narrate them is that I was like somewhere else where I could not just open my mic and start shouting. So, well, I can do that now. So, just stay tuned and uh, enjoy the upcoming videos. Have a nice day and I'll talk to everybody later.